what's up you guys let's read some more energy yes i am in my bed it's very cozy here it's also really fucking hot outside and um it's nice and cool in my room and we got bernie bear here this is bernie and this is rosie and this is peabody see there's other stuffed animals everywhere let's read some energy Ancestors of the highest white light. What is the message? Okay, somebody might benefit from uh, some lapidolite. Um, lapidolite especially helps to protect us during our dream state while we're sleeping, okay? It does need to be smudged often. I don't have lapidolite in my shop at the moment listed. Um, amethyst is a good alternative... Cherite is also really good as well, but this indicates to me that um, that maybe somebody is doing some astral traveling. Um, oh, a sage too. Somebody needs to um, sage their space. Somebody also might be a teacher, but there's another message that was coming through that I. Um, oh, light. Shoot, it's like gone now. I hate it when that happens. Um, Oh, oh, you guys, your ancestors. Okay, yeah, you guys, um, there was a, a reading that I did. I can't remember which one it was. It was probably like one of the last three to five readings that I did. But somebody was dreaming, having a lot of dreams or something like that. Um, sometimes, you guys, sleep is really important. Not only for the nervous system, not only for our um, ancestors to help us um, you know, learn things, see things, try to show us, you know, lessons and things like that. But, um, some of you, what I've noticed is that our ancestors will also help us in our dream states, help us to raise our frequency. They'll, they'll, they'll give us memories that made us happy and, and we'll dream about those things and we will wake up happy and it it's I guess what I'm hearing is that it is advised that when you have those moments and you wake up happy like that that's you shifting frequencies okay um and embrace those feelings okay I hope that that came out right that message came out right but I feel like somebody needs to understand that and somebody needs to know that okay um, maybe somebody's been like detoxing a lot of lessons and I feel like maybe they've, they've been having, like, dreams. Maybe even, like, not nightmares. I don't see, like, nightmares or anything like that, but just waking up perplexed. Um, eventually, I think that you're, you're going to start waking up very refreshed and happy, okay? I will take care of you if you let me. That could be your, um, that could be somebody who, I mean, I don't know, maybe you're like an independent woman, like, or independent, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, man, woman, it doesn't matter, but like, I don't know, maybe you're uber independent and, and somebody's like, hey man, let me, or hey dude, hey chick, whatever, okay? Um, you know, we're, uh, not gender specific here, right? Okay, but, um, it, it could be somebody who wants to take care of you, like a human, an actual human. Yeah, you might have some love coming in. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Um, but I was also going to say your spirit guides. This, I think that there's two messages here. And, and one is a message of love and somebody who wants to, like, help you. Not that you are helpless, right? But but um, wants to, um, you know, uh, believes in reciprocity in a relationship. But for somebody else, I think that this is a message of um, from your guides saying that we're, we're helping you. Let us help you and take care of you, okay? Um, magic is your birthright. Stand in your power. Magic is your birthright. Stand in your power. And standing in your power can just be like, yeah, magic is my birthright. Yes, I am magical, okay? That doesn't have to be like all, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like I see, um, I see like Gandalf, like, you shall not pass. I mean, that could be, you know, like that's also standing in your power, but like it doesn't have to be like that much, like that crazy. What else, spirit? Ancestors of Isolate. 
Maybe somebody's moving. Maybe somebody's getting ready to move. Um, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. You guys, everything's going to work out. The universe is taking care of you. And maybe somebody's going to help you move, too. I mean, maybe you are literally, like, moving to a new location and somebody's going to help you. And you're having anxiety about that, but don't worry about it because there are people who are going to help you. Yeah, don't waste your energy with anxiety and, and worry, worrying about the future. Practice being present. Sing, sing. Somebody's throat chakra is opening. Start singing again, okay? Um, I'm also hearing, um, I don't know why I'm hearing burdock root. I think that helps with like sleep and anxiety, sleeping at night. But I was actually, now I'm hearing lemon balm, and I was not going to say that either. Um, but look, in, look into lemon balm as well, and maybe even burdock root. I think, yeah, um, but now I can't think of what I was thinking of. Oh, licorice root. Licorice root is great for um, helping to open up your throat chakra and also just like loosening up the vocal cords. Okay. So licorice root tea. I love licorice root tea. Cryotherapy is really good too. Cryotherapy is so good for the nervous system. It's, it's also so good for like singing. Um, I don't know that cryotherapy opens up my throat chakra like Oh, yeah. It's like, I will come out of cryotherapy and, like, I don't know, be, like, hitting whistle notes, singing Frozen. Let it go, let it go. All right, so you are, you are positively polarized. Congratulations! We already knew that, though, didn't we? Um, but there might be somebody who... Uh, you were dealing with who was negatively polarized, like a dark empath, okay? I feel like you are an empath, um, but I, I feel like you're kind of like coming back into alignment with yourself here. Like you're getting out of that, that yucky, gucky, yucky, gucky, negatively polarized crap that we don't like, right? Meditate. You might want to take some time for meditation. And keep going. Whatever it is that you're doing, just keep going. One step in front of the other. Like I'm seeing the chariot card in my mind's eye. The chariot card is a card of discipline and just, and just, like, what is it? It's like, just be consistent. Just one step in front of the other. You know what I mean? Just keep going. Somebody might need to eat as well a little bit more. Um, I feel like somebody is uh, Claire Gustin, which is like somebody who is who can taste things, like psychically taste things, right? So like for me, my spirit guides, oh, my Busha, my grandma. Oh, I love her so much. I forget to eat all the time. I'm autistic. I get very hyper-focused on things, and I will forget to eat. I probably forget to eat for days if I – it's just bad. Anyways – I will, um, I have things I eat, okay? But um, my guides, especially when I forget to eat, oftentimes I will, I will be like walking <laughs> and doing whatever it is and I will taste like, so my busha, my grandma, who has, who, who has since, you know, moved on to the other side of the veil, um, we used to go to, uh, we would have spaghetti dinners every Sunday at her church. It was like my favorite thing. It was a Catholic church. It was the cutest Catholic church. There were all these little Polish ladies. Oh, it was my favorite thing in the world. Oh my God. I loved it so much. Anyways, whenever I don't eat and whenever I need to eat, I will always taste, um, like spaghetti and like meatballs in my mouth. And it's my busha saying, look, little lady, you got to eat something. So I don't know, you guys. Um, you could also be a chef, too, you know? Um, and you could also just be... Like, that could also be... I'm hearing that could also be how you... Um, okay, 
two we've got two stories here. Okay, somebody needs to listen because their guides are telling them that they need to um, how they need to eat and what they need to eat. Okay, and they're they're using that for that. But somebody else I'm hearing is um, likes to cook or is a cook, and this is this is how they creatively express themselves. And it's like what I'm hearing is. Um, like let your creative expression flow and and in cooking you you might be able to um like really open up this this talent that you have it's like what, what is the message i'm sorry you guys it's like um it's like when you're cooking in the kitchen you can taste the way that things are going to taste before you taste them somebody's a genius in the cooking i or with with cooking i don't know how else to say it but that's your your claire your claire gustin okay so that's dope. What else, spirit ancestors of the highest white light? Okay, yeah, flow. Somebody needs to flow. So flowing in the kitchen is great. Okay, I don't know you guys, you know what you guys like to do. Um, you know, painting, gardening. I love gardening, especially in the summer. Um, cooking is fantastic as well. What else? This will also help um, to connect you to your inner intuition, strengthen your inner intuition. I'm just kind of like seeing somebody, you know, uh, kind of like sitting back on their, um, like their throne as like the high priestess sort of, and it could be male or female, okay? Blue jays might be significant. Maybe you're going to see a blue jay. Maybe you are, you're seeing a blue jay right now. Okay, Circe. Um, it, it might be time for some self-care, okay? The goddess of, uh, the goddess of, like the mother goddess okay so mm -hmm. follow your gut somebody really needs to eat because we've got you know there's a lot of food <laughs> Somebody's receiving divine inspiration, and that somebody needs to channel this and flow with this. To I'm hearing to help cleanse themselves. We have a we have Libra energy here. We have somebody who is a divine seer. I also feel like somebody is um, a neurodivergent as well. Um, There may have been a cancellation, and it's because somebody had an ego death, all right? So I'm being called to um, share this with you, to just, like, play it cool, okay? Somebody was going through an ego death. They canceled something because they were going through something that they, I don't think that they even understood what they were going through. Take what resonates. A bracelet might be significant for some of you. Mm -hmm. Normalize not caring what other people think. Love yourself instead. Um, so the message I'm actually receiving with this is that somebody is... Um, I'm literally seeing this could be this could be like it actually happened or it didn't. I don't know. But it's like maybe like I feel like maybe somebody's friends may have gotten in the way of or was trying to get in the way of a situation and um was trying to cancel a relationship actually now is what I'm hearing and it's like if you are happy in the relationship don't care about what other people think like who gives a fuck what anybody thinks you know what I mean you know how this is I don't want to stereotype or anything like that because I know that men and women can all do this. Okay, so I'm not going to stereotype. But you know, like, when you get in a, a group of people and they, they feel like they... Okay, I'm going to say it. I feel like it's primarily with, like, females and stuff like that because we're all... We're, we're kind of in the... You know, we live in a patriarchy and there are a lot of women who kind of, 
you know, it's like they want to empower other women to be independent. And there, there is a way that you can do that. You can empower women to be independent, but it doesn't necessarily mean, like, you have to shame their partner, so to speak, right? So I feel like somebody is, that's kind of, like, what's happening. And it's like, just cancel them is actually now what I'm hearing, okay? Follow your, follow your gut, okay? May you have self-esteem so high that you are humble. Practice mindfulness. I don't know, maybe there's, there is like a group of people that you need to just kind of be a little careful around, okay? Because they are negatively polarized. We have uh, Bast here, Basset, you know, whatever, however you say it, but um, however you choose to say it, right? Um, but that's, I do feel like there's new love coming in, okay? And somebody's third eye is opening after this ego death. Uh, earth could be an earth sign, you know, so we could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this also indicates to me that I feel like somebody needs to ground with the earth because I'm seeing somebody like on their knees in the grass, hands on the grass with, so, you know, just like sitting there grounding. It actually, I'm, I'm thinking about that and it actually feels really good in my body. So you should do that for sure. What else, spirit? dance maybe somebody needs to like dance boogie down get that sacral chakra awake <laughs> what else spirit Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so many pillows and stuffed animals. I lost my actual tarot deck in this in this pillow fort of comfy here. Oh, there they are. Okay, good. I'm so happy. So cozy. Do you guys ever do that? Sometimes I feel like my bed is just like a little fort. <laughs> Spirit answers to the highest way light. I feel like somebody's really enamored by you. Um, you guys remember that all of my readings are general readings too. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. Also remember that all of my readings are timeless because um, energy is not linear like time. And also please don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Labradorite. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I feel like maybe somebody could benefit from, um, some Labradorite to, to help, like I said earlier, to help uh, connect them with their, uh, inner intuition. If you're the one who went through an ego death, congratulations. That's not easy. Um, but it is liberating for sure. And probably one of my favorite crystals after an ego death or a dark night of the soul is Labradorite. So um, I do have Labradorite in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. I have uh, necklaces, and then I also have um, rough crystals. And for those of you who don't already know, most of the crystals um, in my shop, I did, um, like, dig up, do all the lapidary work, um, did all of the metal work and stuff like that. So they are made with a lot of love and care. Mm -hmm. Calcite might also benefit some of you. Um, it... Uh, encourages uh, calmness. Uh, malachite might also be benefit a few of you as well to help open up that heart chakra. Green aventurine as well. I definitely feel like someone's past loved one is trying to connect with you to, to kind of help ground you. So I'm thinking again about like my spaghetti story with my, my grandmother. Is there, are you having like memories of like just random memories of like loved ones and, and things like that who have passed over? That, that is them trying to show you that they are with you, okay? They're, they're putting, what I'm hearing is that they are projecting those memories into your mind so that you will think of them and so you will feel grounded, okay? Take what resonates, you guys. We've got Pipestone here, okay? Yeah, definitely. Root chakras. See, what the fuck did I just say, you guys? Your ancestors are helping to ground you might also benefit from some pipestone. I do not have any of that in my Etsy shop, but Red Jasper is very similar. So I, I love Red Jasper so much. Ooh, Seraphonite. Oh my gosh. 
This crystal is fantastic. I do not have any in my Etsy shop right now, but I... It's a great heart and third eye chakra stone. Yeah. And aquamarine. Oh, great throat chakra stone. Okay, so some of you might benefit from that. All right. I do have aquamarine in my Etsy shop, too. What else? So it looks like somebody's base chakra... We've got the base chakra, we've got the heart chakra, we've got the throat chakra that needs a little bit of work. Okay, let's pull some tarot. And then we've also got somebody who's in love. <laughs> so, okay. So you might be the person who's in love, and this might be, you know, your person who needs their heart chakra, throat chakra, base chakra, you know. And somebody needs to follow their intuition, too. Let's not forget about the Labradorite, okay? Um, or or um, somebody is in love with you, and you have some work that you still need to do. Or you are doing work currently to... Um, to, to help move this along is kind of the, the energy, the message that I'm receiving and understanding here. What else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands. I'm in love with the stripper. That's what I heard. Okay, look. All right, we've got the dance card out here. We've got the Queen of Wands. Which one is it? Who are you? Is somebody out there dancing? You don't have to let me know. But um, it's good for the sacral chakra. It's also good for the bank. So no judgment. <laughs> what else for your answers to my soul light? Okay, so you are ungrounded. I'm sorry. I don't want to manifest anything into anybody's life. Take what resonates. But it seems to me that somebody has had a traumatic or a shaky household growing up. It could also just be like your current household. There's a few different stories that I'm hearing here with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. And it's either your past, your pat, the way that you were raised in your past and the chaos from your, from your home growing up and or the chaos in your home currently that is making it very difficult for your heart chakra to open back up. I feel like somebody, you know, coming out of this ego death and this, this dark night of the soul, um, I feel like somebody might have some nervous system. Like you might want to work on your nervous system a little bit. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you guys ever burn like incense on charcoal discs. I love it. Okay, I will burn like dried herbs. Some of my favorite ones recently are um, fenugreek, skullcap herb, herb, um, and uh, lavender is pretty good too. Lavender is toxic to animals though, so you want to keep that away. Um, I really like clove too. Clove is quite nice. Again, that is toxic to animals though, so you have to be careful about that. Skullcap though is not, and uh, nor is fenugreek. What else? have I been burning recently? I think that's really about it. Um, but somebody is healing from some trauma here, okay? Um, all right, what else? Spirit has to survive really. And you're not feeling very strong, but you are strong, okay? That's also what I'm hearing. I just saw the strength card in the reverse position. And I feel like ultimately you're going to walk away from this past situation, this past version of yourself, and you're going to find emotional fulfillment. What else, Spirit? And that's just my sweat light. Here with the Queen of Wands, too, we've got fire signs, so it's Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo. I just said Leo, didn't I? No, it was a strength card, but yeah, and Leo, okay? What else, Spirit? And then we've also got Libra here, too. Labradorite is pretty fantastic, too. And I'm happy that we pulled Labradorite before we pulled all these other crystal cards, too. Because, you guys, Labradorite, for me, when I don't know what the hell to do, when I feel so lost... Labradorite is always my go-to stone because Labradorite, whenever I put it on or whenever I use it or whenever, you know, whenever I utilize this, the, the crystal and I 
it, it will guide me and, and help me in any way that I need to. I will have either, either I might be on my phone and like something might pop up, like, you know, like some sort of like relaxing therapy that I might need to go to or like an ad for another crystal that might be benefit me or, or just like, you know, synchronicities like that. Or even like for me, like when I have Labradorite, like spirit will just say, Hey, look lady, you need to wear the color red today because you're a little ungrounded or and we need to, you know, bump up the energy or like, Hey lady, you need to wear, I don't know, you know, like it's, the crystal will, it, it will help you. It will show you the way. I don't know how else to say it. It's just, I don't know. You guys know, I feel like, okay. I feel like whoever this love is, they are like ready to go. Whoever this is that's trying to come in, they are like, they're ready. They, they don't want to wait anymore. Okay. But I do feel like they are receiving divine guidance to just, um, to wait. And this could also be you as well. You might be ready and you might not want to wait anymore, but I do feel like you are receiving some divine guidance to wait. And it could also be because there is some sort of a negative, uh, like astral travel or negative, negatively polarized astral travel interference. Okay. Like a dark empath is what we're talking about here. Yeah, you might be feeling just like a little emotionally drained, a little like, what, why, why am I not feeling as energized as before? And it, it might be that pull, okay? I feel like you're getting ready to release this though. But like, why the, who is this? What the fuck? Yeah, I do feel like you are very protected. I don't, they're not going to touch you, okay? I just heard, can't touch this. Can't touch this. remember to open up your heart okay your heart is so broken I mean I'm not again trying to um, tell you what you are or tell you you know what I mean like manifest anything in your life but I as these cards fell out the three of swords the strength in the reverse position the temperance card they also landed on the ten of pentacles which was in the reverse position which made it upright okay I just feel like there's going to be a happy ending for you um, I don't think that you understand how strong you are. I also feel like the vanity of, I'm hearing like the, um, the shallowness of the world kind of breaks your heart as well for some of you. Cause this is you, you're an angel. Okay. You are divine. I think that you see and you understand things in a way that other people don't see and understand things as well. Okay. Um, And in that regard, again, I'm hearing, uh, normalize caring what, or normalize not caring what other people think. I'm also hearing play, play it cool around people though, too. Cause it's like, you don't want to waste your energy. This is kind of the message there. Why? Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah. Love yourself instead. Like don't, you don't have to waste your words. All the time because I feel like somebody when they're talking it's, it's almost like they're trying to validate what they know but some people just it doesn't matter you know you don't have to you don't have to have other people validate you, you validate yourself okay and that's where we're trying to go that's where we're trying to get here the Empress so with the, I have the King of Pentacles here in the reverse position with the Empress and the Fool in the reverse position. I feel like your energy is the Empress, okay? This is also Taurus energy, but that does not matter, okay? Whatever. We've also got Leo here. We've got Sagittarius. Sagittarius is highly aspected. We've got Aries. We've got Leo. Highly aspected. And then Libra again, okay? So, um, and then Aries. Highly aspected, okay? King of Pentacles, Earth, whatever. Okay. Somebody, um... I feel like you are somebody who has a lot of creative energy. I feel like you are somebody who is accountable for a lot of souls. You, you come in and out of people's lives and you touch them in a way that is very, um, opening, you know, um, it, we call that a DNA activator. Okay. So, but it's like somebody kind of came in and, or your upbringing, whatever, take what resonates. Okay. But something happened that just kind of has left you a little ungrounded. I'm also getting that somebody might be living in a, in a lack mentality as well. So, um, 
be thankful for what you have. Um, you might want to do some money affirmations, like, uh, money flows to me like water, um, and just, uh, sometimes when I feel like I'm in a lack mentality, I look around and I'm just, well, first of all, sometimes I'll clean my house and it, and it, everything just looks better that way. And I feel less exhausted because there's less that I feel like I have to do, you know, um, but also just like looking around and just, I don't know, you know, like I have, like, I, this is, you know, this is my pillow, right? Like I bought this pillow. This is my computer. I bought that computer. That's my dresser. I bought that dresser. You know what I mean? Like that, like this is my top. Like I, I bought this. You know what I mean? Like I provide for myself. I can do that. I have always done that. You've always done that. You can do that, okay? Um, and maybe just because somebody didn't provide for you in the past, it doesn't mean that you're not worth providing for, okay? I will take care of you if you let me. This could also be you talking to your inner child also, okay? Just take what resonates. But I do feel like somebody's heart has been broken. Somebody is feeling like they're not worth it. And somebody just needs to have a little bit more faith with the fool in the reverse position, okay? It's like, this is kind of like... It's, I don't think that this is like where you are, but I do feel like you're kind of like balancing this out and you're starting to really understand this about yourself and, um, and really s stepping into this energy of the Empress. Okay. Um, as someone who's very bountiful, right? Cause the Empress is a very bountiful energy. We got the hierophant here too. I feel like somebody really wants somebody's really trying to manifest a higher level of commitment with you. Um because we've got the magician with the hierophant. We've also got the ace of wands. I feel like they're very they have a lot of passion for you as well. And I feel like both of you have um are very inspiring, and I feel like both of you um are uh I just heard weird. <laughs> I don't know. Like, just take what resonates, okay? But I feel like both of you are the same kind of weird. Uh, you know, I'll feel like that's, you know, cool um, to say. So hopefully it doesn't offend anybody. But also the two of you kind of, like, feed each other creatively. Whereas I feel like in the past you're used to people just kind of, like, always, like, taking from you. Like, taking ideas. Taking, taking, taking. Inspiration. Taking, taking, taking. And just not really, you know, like, giving anything back. Um... What else, spirit? Yeah, you're turning over a new leaf. Seven of Swords in the first position. You're coming out of a lack mentality. Getting ready for true love. That's what it sounds like. You just gotta open up your heart. And get some Labradorite. And let your guides give you sweet dreams that you can wake up to and be happy about, okay? Yeah, this is divine, all right, with the judgment card here. Um, maybe somebody's going to have some kids, too. We got a little we got a little gummy dude here, right here. And maybe that's divine as well, all right? Um, you know, we love little divine warriors of light, little indigo babies. Um, what else? More indigo babies. We need them, right? Five of Wands. I should have ended the reading right there. Okay. Why Why the Five of Wands, please? And it's just the highest white light. Oh, is somebody conflicted with the fact that they might, well, okay, we'll, let me get some cards. Oh, the chaos, if you're feeling any anxiety or the chaos that you're feeling, it's a lie. That's just literally what I heard with the, um, and then this is like getting, this was going to fall. It's like, yeah, it landed up right. That's the truth. Okay. Um,
Yeah, it, somebody's just emotionally drained, and I just feel like somebody also needs to um, discipline themselves a little bit better. Uh, I'm hearing you got to remember to drink water with the Ace of Cups in the reverse position, okay? It's like you're not drinking enough water. And um, honestly, when you're not drinking enough water, it does create anxiety. Um, And when you're not eating properly, you will have anxiety. So maybe that's what the illusion is too, okay? But you gotta, I know that we have this dark empath card here too, but I almost feel like that energy, you, you're you kind of like almost out of that energy. And or it's like your ancestors are trying to help you to raise your frequency so that you will get out of this energy. Um, and some very easy ways to do it are just like, you know, take care of your body, honor your body, however you need to honor your body. And, and I'm also hearing, you know, get enough rest. You know, you're a divine seer, you might be seeing things in your dreams as well. Seeing your future, your future plans, what you're supposed to be doing, okay? I think that's some of the reading. Somebody really wants somebody really bad, though, because um, I just, I don't know, I'm, I keep hearing that. I feel like this is, this is a healthy dynamic. This, there was a lot in this message. But I do feel like whoever this is, these are two divine beings who understand that this is a journey and it is a process of healing. And that is... So I'm going to end it right there. I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope that you're doing really, really amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, check out my Etsy shop, too. I would love that, you guys. If you're in the mood for some crystals, okay? Sending you guys lots of love. Okay, until next time.